Hello. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel header. My name is Mariel. Oh my god, I just noticed I have something in my teeth. Have I had that all this time in the video? <sighs> anyway, welcome to the Mariel header. My name is Mariel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this, uh, what should I call this? Lady Gaga, A Star is Born, La Vie and Rose scene, at the drag bar look <laughs> i just saw a star is born what a beautiful movie it's it's funny it's sad lady gaga did an amazing job bradley cooper was fantastic i was in awe this look is an homage to a very important scene in the movie it's when uh gaga meets bradley cooper or ally meets jackson maine in a scene where she's performing at a drag bar and sings Edith Piaf's La Vie en Rose. As soon as I saw the scene, I was like, someone's gonna dress up like this for Halloween for sure. I'm gonna do a tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to do your hair, which is super easy, and how to do your makeup for this look. So stay tuned, I hope you really like it. So the style basically is an updo. I couldn't tell if her bun had like a braid or a, or if it was twisted if it had any texture and because of that i'm just gonna do a high bun i have a lot of hair i don't need extensions or like a filler to have a really big fluffy bun but if you don't have a lot of hair uh you know just get some extensions or one of those uh hair donuts so your bun will look big and puffy and it's basically just that the high bun and i'm going to leave out a chunk of my hair here in the front to create that wave so this isn't a very deep part it's just kind of to the side of the center so just go ahead do that this is i think way too much let's cut that in half and i'm just gonna leave this long piece i'll pin it back if it's too long I'm just going to take this little black headband, do a high pony. And twist the hair into a bun shape and I'm just going to pin it down. You know what? This is way too much. So let's see, what am I going to do? Let's just pin this around. Voila! Okay, now I'm just gonna take my curling iron and I'm just gonna create a wave. I'm just gonna pin it back here with this clip. So keep the curler on there for a bit. Like you really want this to be super curly. And curl all the hair in the same direction. I'm just gonna let the curls cool down a bit and I'm gonna spritz my head with a little bit of the Giovanni Maximum Hold LA Hold Hair Spritz. Just kinda smooth everything down. Now, because I only saw this movie once and it's not like I was recording the thing, <laughs> I couldn't tell if this was like a finger wave or just like a pin back curl, but we're going for the easy one, which is like the pin back curl. Whatever is going on, just kind of let it sit where it wants to go. Like, I'm not going to mess with this too much. So I'm going to pin this here. It's just pretty much going in the same direction. So I'm going to pin that here too. Okay, there we go. I'm going to lower this a little bit. And there we go. There is the drag scene hair. <laughs> All right. The first thing I'm going to put on is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. My skin's being a little weird right now. I'm not going to put on any primer, but please do so if you're going to like go out and uh, be in this costume for a while if you want your makeup to stick. I'm just going to put this on to kind of hydrate my face. 
while the serum sets in, I'm going to block my eyebrows. I'm gonna use Elmer's glue. A lot of people use different techniques. I just like to be a little bit more careful. I don't just like pass the glue stick all over my forehead because that makes a weird little glue rim. So I just apply it with a little spatula instead. And also take a look at how the brow hair grows on your brow. A lot of people brush it up because that helps the hair lay more flat. But in my case, if I move it to the side, it lays down better. So just determine what works best for your brow. Something I never see people do is scrape the excess of glue around their brow. So I suggest you do that. Okay, I was done putting on the glue. It's pretty dry. It's not that tacky anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some peach corrector concealer. I think Cover Effects stopped making these little cover click sticks. I'm so sad. I really like them, but I'll try to find some good substitutes for you. In the meantime, just use a peach corrector. It's gonna help neutralize the darkness. Um, you could also just go in with a full coverage concealer. I'm just adding this step in for anyone who doesn't have that handy. Okay, now I'm gonna top that off with a little bit of a locket concealer creme corrector, and I'm gonna apply that with a little uh, Sigma F70 concealer brush. And I'm doing this to dab it on carefully and not have it blend in too much with the corrector. Now I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge and blend out the edges. Now I'm gonna take some RCMA No Color Powder on this Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just gonna go on top of all the work we just did. Okay, well, all of that settles into place. I'm gonna start doing my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this amazing eyeshadow palette. I use it for everything. It's just really good to create a natural contoured eye look. This is the Perfect Eye Palette in Warm Neutrals by Thrive Cosmetics. Okay, so for this, I think I'm gonna do a voiceover just because it's going to be much faster explaining it later. But before I do that, I just forgot, um, I'm gonna put on some eye primer. This is the Lily Lolo eye primer. I'm gonna take the yellow side. First, I'm gonna grab a blending brush. This is the Blending Bestie by MOTD, and I'm dipping into the color Bethany. I'm gonna create a new crease line right at the edge of my brow bone and I'm gonna blend that upwards. Repeat this step to darken the color as much as you'd like, and don't forget to apply some to the outer V. Also, deepen the color in the inner corner of the eye right under the brow. Now, using a firmer blending brush, this is the E44 by Sigma. I'm dipping into the color Madeline. I'm using that along the edges of Bethany to diffuse that color, and I'm also applying it to the lower lash line. Then I'm grabbing another Blending Bestie and I'm dipping into Roseanne. Then uh, I'll use that to deepen the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm extending it outward like I would to create a winged liner. I'm also adding some to the inner part of the eye. I'm blending that inner corner upwards to get a kind of a sad eye effect. Then using my ring finger, I'm just going to dip into the Winnie highlighter and I'm just going to dab that onto the center of the eye. Then I'm going to top that off with Water Dream by Nabla for a sparklier touch. Okay, we pretty much have this eye down. I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, now I'm going to apply my foundation, but before I do that, I'm just going to take that peach corrector and apply it right here. Um, this is where I get some... I wouldn't say under eye circles, but some blue color is poking through my skin because I probably have like a prominent vein there. Um, and this is just gonna help brighten up the eyes. Now I'm gonna apply foundation. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the number six. And I'm gonna put it on with my Real Techniques sponge. Now 
Now that I have this layer on, I'm going to spray my sponge with a little bit of Pacifica's Crystal Power Hydro Mist. And then I'm going to put on another layer of foundation. This, this is such a great product. If you want to make your foundation last longer, do this. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Instamark uh, Light Filtering Contour Powder as usual in a 40 Mirage. This is my favorite contour color for my skin tone. I'm just going to grab the contour and warm up the perimeter of my face. And I'm going to put some of this under my chin. This really helps give you a more angled jawline. So I don't like to go all the way to the back of the neck because then it kind of starts looking like a beard or like a five o'clock shadow. Um, so I just stick to right here where my double chin is and I just blend that out. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the Hydro Mist and set what I have on. Now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder to powder down my face a little bit like i said my skin is being a little finicky so i'm not going to put on a lot of powder but if you need to pack on some setting powder if you need to bake under your eye on your forehead or your chin go ahead you know sometimes you just got to modify what you're going to put on because your face is just being weird and i'm going to spray again for a good measure and now we're going to move on to the eyebrows very important for the brows, okay, she has them really high up on her forehead, like she barely has any space between her hairline and the brows. In the movie, you learn that what she's wearing are kind of like stickers, so it's gonna be pretty hard to get them to look that identical, but we're gonna try. Take your pencil, make sure it's really sharp. I'm gonna follow my iris, and I'm going to do the high point, probably here. Then I'm gonna follow the line of my lower lash line and end them like right here. So there we go, one, two, three points. I'm just gonna mimic this on the other side. Then I'm just gonna sketch them, perfect them, then move on. <sighs> okay, that's intense. Okay, since these brows are really thin, it's gonna be really difficult to get them to that width with a pencil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B angle brush, just get a really super tiny, super thin angle brush, and some black liquid lipstick, which means this is gonna last all night. Um, I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna dip in with the brush and go to town. Also, you could use, obviously, a liquid liner. I don't have one, that's why I'm using the black liquid lipstick. And I'm also gonna put just a little dab of foundation on a concealer brush. This one is by Cover Effects. And I'm gonna clean up that little dot in the end. Just cover it up, whatever. And uh, just keep working on that brow. Okay, now I'm gonna blend in the eyeshadow a little bit better into the new brow bone. I'm gonna use this tiny lash fan by Sigma. This is so good at getting into like little nooks and crevices. Oh, and I'm using Madeline from the Warm Palette. And you know what? I'm gonna dip into the highlighter Winnie. And well, while I'm here, Okay, for blush, I'm going to use Beloved by Nabla. I use this blush all the time. Now, I have this Cover Effects Highlight in Sunlight. It's a little bit lighter than the one in the Thrive Palette. I'm just going to use it to, you know, do a little highlighting here on the side of my face. Okay, I'm gonna put on some mascara, some lashes. I don't know what to tell you about the lashes. Um, they were just thick and fluffy. I have some here. 
that I think will work. I can't tell you which ones they are because they're double stacked. Um, I'm thinking they are Ardell Demi Wispies on top of some Black Moon Cosmetics lashes, but I'm not sure. Okay, lashes are on. I'm starting to feel like Ellie. Ah, exciting. Okay, um, last but not least, I'm gonna put on some red lipstick. In the movie, it just kind of looks a little messy, so I'm not gonna do like a perfect red liquid lip. If you're gonna go out, you may wanna put on a red liquid lip. This is the closest color I have to what Allie is wearing. It kind of looks like an orangey red, but that could be just the lighting. This is the Discontinued Tijuana Red Lipstick by Kat Von D. I'm really sad that they got rid of this. I really love this color. Um, that's the one I'm gonna put on, but just look for something kind of like in this shade range. I'm not sure if she has a beauty mark on somewhere. I think she does, but you know what? Just in case, I'm gonna draw on one on this side. Okay, I'm gonna put on a strappy top just so it'll look more like the look of the movie. I'll be right back. Okay guys, well, here is the final look. I am, <laughs> I look, you know, <laughs> different. This is a really easy look to pull off and I think so many people have seen A Star Is Born. This is gonna be like a really recognizable costume. Maybe, you know, walk around with a rose. And if you have a man that looks like Jackson Maine, go ahead and go out as a couple's costume. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, so comment down below what you thought about the ending. Like, don't spoil it, just tell me what you felt. Um, I was trashed, devastated, it was so intense. Okay, anyway, so yeah, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend, I would really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video, and until then, bye.